Hey guys, I'm Clifford Stemmy, the Pop-Time Professor. Today we are talking about Kitchen Sink by 21 Pilots, and I'm gonna tell you why we're talking about it in a second, but first, I wanna read this quote by Tyler Joseph. It's about the logo of 21 Pilots, and I think it's very relevant to the meaning of this song. He says, it means 21 Pilots, the logo does. Why it means 21 Pilots is it really goes along with one of our songs called Kitchen Sink. The whole concept of that song is that I feel that humans are always struggling all the time when it comes to purpose, trying to figure out what their purpose is, what purpose even is, what's the point, justifying your own existence. A lot of kids and people my age struggle with what's the point, and with the logo, what it really means is it's an encouragement. When someone asks me what the logo means, the logo means something to me because I made it mean something to me. That's the point. The point is that I created something that only I understand, and whether or not I decide to disclose the meaning of it, that's the beginning of purpose for me. The meaning of purpose for me is by creating something, if it be by writing, lyrics, painting, a picture, by expressing yourself through art, if it's photography or music or theater, or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be artistic, but if you create something and only you know the meaning of it, that's the beginning of purpose for you. When you're in the room by yourself trying to decide whether to stay alive, you can tell yourself, I should probably stay alive because I'm the only one who knows the meaning of that thing. So the logo is an encouragement for people to create. That's what it means. And that's very similar and actually pretty close to what a lot of kitchen sink means. And we're gonna go through kitchen sink and explain each of the stanzas. Uh, before we do that, I do wanna give a quick shout out to my patrons. You guys, you made this video possible. We made it over that $50 a month mark. You are helping to support me so I can make these videos. I'm sure everybody else is super grateful about this. And if you are considering joining Patreon, you definitely should. I'm releasing behind the scenes podcasts there every once in a while. We've already got Glowing Eyes and Air Catcher by 21 Pilots. We're gonna have more coming soon. Uh, so feel free to check that out. It's super inexpensive and it's a cool community. There's some really deep conversation about 21 Pilots and life that goes on there. Enough of that though, let's jump back into these lyrics. So Kitchen Sink, the first verse, we hear lines like, nobody thinks what I think, nobody dreams when they blink. So dreams in this case are probably not a good thing for Tyler Joseph. They're uh, kind of a horror. And so just when he blinks, he feels like these, these thoughts come back. Um, think things on the brink of blasphemy, doubting God. Uh, I'm my own shrink, think things are after me. Uh, and then later at my kitchen sink, you don't know what that means because a kitchen sink to you is not a kitchen sink to me. Now, the reason he talks about a kitchen sink here is because as he's mentioned before, something very important happened to him at a kitchen sink. And I, I don't know whether it was like, maybe he, he became a Christian or he realized something about himself or something like that, or he, maybe he decided to start the band there, but a kitchen sink is important to him, so he wrote a song about it, and he's essentially going to do with this song what he tells you to do in the song and what he told you to do in that quote. Uh, he says, uh, are you searching for purpose? Then write something, yeah, it might be worthless. Paint something, uh, you'll see purpose start to surface. No one else is dealing with your demons, meaning maybe defeating them could be the beginning of your meaning, friend. So he's suggesting that you do try to defeat your, your demons, and he's saying that the process of defeating them and what you create in that process could be you feeling like you mean something and giving meaning to other people. For him, he creates these songs. This is definitely gonna be very Inception, people. Very Inception-ish. Uh, but he creates these songs, and that's the beginning of meaning for him. He helps other people, but it's also how he fights back against his demons. Particularly, I mean, do we need the proof of the album entitled Blurry Face? Uh, but he goes into the chorus. He says, go away, go away, go away, go away, leave me alone. And that's basically all he says. And I think he's talking to his demons there. I don't think he's telling his fans to, to get out or God to get out. Uh, but then in verse two, nobody thinks what you think. So he's taking this focus from him and now he's putting it onto his audience. So he's basically, he's doing again, like very similar to what he tells us to do. Like he's leading by example here. Uh, and so he's taking his fight and he's putting it out there for other people. Now he is, he is kind of explaining the meaning and that's his choice, which he says you have a choice. That's the beginning of your purpose is, you know, deciding whether or not to explain it to other people. Um, but I think it's also important to remember that it's just the beginning of purpose. Um, I think that that purpose is is a spiritual thing and that there's a lot to it and it's it's complicated. I think it has to do with God uh, and I won't go any more in depth than that. Uh, but he's saying that the beginning of purpose, a way to kind of help you through these like day-to-day -day struggles as you continue to discover true purpose is creating this art. So it's not an end-all be-all and he's very clear about that. Uh, but in verse two, uh, empathy might be on the brink of extinction. They will play a game and say they know what you're going through. So maybe people do or they don't, but they're going to say it anyway. Uh, and I've tried to come up with an artistic way to say that they don't know you. So he thinks that they really don't know you. Uh, and neither do I, which I think is a cool, a cool line. It's kind of surprising. So here's a prime example of a stand-up guy who hates what he believes 
and loves it at the same time. Again, this confliction, we see this confliction in Fairly Local, in all of Blurry Face, several times in Vessel, he's conflicted. Definitely, definitely one of the most uh, visibly conflicted people that I've ever heard. <laughs> um, but he's like us all in that, that way. So he introduces his brother, and then we have the bridge. And the bridge, if you can wrap this, you're you're a true pro. Let me, time games momentum in the moment when I'm living in them, I'm women in a momentary sin in a moment, pass and after. A rebeginning moments, many memories, pretending enemies or frenemies, sending me straight to bending me by bad behavior that I bet I could have had been a better man. Copy and paste, caught me and copy. Better rhymes bother me. The better the rhythm, the badder I am. But I bet I'll battle with them battle. Better I am. Gambling man, better bet I'm, I'm a gambling man, I am. I, I don't know, that, that probably wasn't super good. And I know that some of you guys can definitely do that better, but I thought I'd give it a shot, all right, cool, all right. Um, anyway, uh, so I think that this, my theory about the bridge is that it is a kitchen sink. So it's very complicated, very confusing, and I think it might be Zach, his brother's kitchen sink, where he is giving this idea uh, or he's giving this piece of art, but he's not telling us what it means, and he's choosing not to. Now, we can try to cipher it out, and we're going to, but I think the important overall meaning of the song Kitchen Sink, and particularly this bridge, is that it is his beginning of purpose and meaning. Time gains momentum, the moment when I'm living in them, uh, I'm women a momentary, sin in a moment, passing after. <laughs> it's, it's super confusing. Uh, but I think he's saying, like, life is speeding up, and sometimes I make mistakes. Uh, a re-beginning moments, mending memories, so I'm trying to move on pretending enemies are frenemies, so I know that these people aren't necessarily like my best friends, but I'm trying to pretend like it's okay, maybe this is a reference to demons, uh, sending me straight to bending me, so like he's, his moral compass maybe is, is bending and he's doing what he doesn't want to do maybe, my bad behavior, but I bet I could have been a better man, that doesn't need explaining, he, he thinks he could be better, copy and paste caught me, so he kept doing what he was doing before, better rhymes bother me, maybe he's jealous, the better the rhythm, the badder I am, but I've Bet I'll battle with him, battle, better I am. Gambling man, so he's taking risks. Better bet I am a gambling man. I am? It's a question there. And so it's like he's still doubtful. Like he's, he's said, been so confident in this amazing rap, and now he's kind of like, I'm not really sure if I should. By the way, when I just rapped uh, the bridge, you know, kind of so-so. I didn't even practice a warm-up. I just decided to do that in a flash of an eye. Um, so, I mean, I need a mic to drop. I don't have a mic. I have a stapler, though. Let's see. Oh gosh, that was that was way louder than I thought it'd be, and it's also not my staple. I have to return that to work. Okay, anyway, guys, um, you know that's basically the idea of Kitchen Sink. Uh, it's a super super cool song. One of my favorites. One of your guys' favorites too. And I highly recommend that you take some time to meditate on it, ponder it. Um, the the cool thing here, if we want to bring in a lit device, because I like to make this educational. Parents, I'm watching out for you, and students who don't like English literature class, I'm here to destroy those stereotypes. Uh, kitchen Sink is a symbol. The cool and interesting thing that Tyler does here is the anti-symbol because he doesn't freaking tell us what it stands for. Uh, as far as me, it kind of stands for a, a piece of art that somebody doesn't know something about. So like a kitchen sink is symbolic of that for me. But essentially a symbol is just a, a concrete thing that stands for something else. And you'll often see it repeated over the course of a body of literature. So in kitchen sink, it's the title, it's mentioned several times. Uh, so it is a symbol, but it's a symbol that he doesn't tell us what it means, but that's the point. So it's also symbolic of the message he's giving. Uh, that's kind of my summary of what I have to say about Kitchen Sink. I do have a Kitchen Sink podcast, and it's a little bit more in-depth uh, if you go down to the description down below. Uh, but I really want to ask you guys, if you're interested in helping me on Patreon, we when we get to $100 a month, we're going to have another one of these, like, you guys request the one, you'll help me get to choose. It's a super cool community. There's some really cool people I've really gotten to know well, and it's it's awesome. So thank you to my patrons. Thank you to you guys for watching this, and go and make your own kitchen sinks. Um, try to wrap that better than me. I bet you, actually, yeah, you, you can. Okay. Um, but anyway, guys, have a fantastic day. Talk to you later.